Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we are back with another dun dun mukbang. So, um, we're eating nothing today. <laughs> I don't know why I said it's so sassy, okay? We're making, we're cooking today. We're gonna be cooking a pink pasta with scallops, with bacon. It's gonna be the most delicious thing ever. We have these giant cheesy hash browns. We're gonna dip into spicy ketchup and I'm so hungry. But I just wanna say, I am a sucker for good quality meat. Did you get what I did there? No, really, because I've been at home making my own home broths, my own chicken broths, for collagen reasons, for sipping reasons, and whenever we have some time, we try to cook up these like authentic Chinese soups that are filled with things that are so good for your body, like goji berries, ginseng, lotus heart. So if we're getting the highest quality of all of these things, you better believe me that I am getting the highest quality meat and fish for all of this. Even if I'm making a salmon rice bowl, which by the way, I'm about to tell you how you can get free salmon for a year. Free salmon for a year if you just keep listening. Whether I'm making that or a kimchi jjigae with some nice high quality beef, I want high quality meat that's been humanely raised at a reasonable price. My favorite way to do this, butcher box. Butcher box has been spoiling me because I have been using butcher box for like years now. I think I've talked about it before. They get shipped to my door with free shipping. Like, if that's not elevated experience, I don't know what is. ButcherBox will actually deliver 100% grass-fed beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, wild-caught seafood, directly to your doorstep. They ship your order frozen at its peak freshness, and they also ship it in this 100% eco-friendly recyclable box. I love knowing the fact that ButcherBox only sources from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards of quality. And if you're like, wow, Stephanie, is that a bajillion dollars? Actually, no. I feel like, oddly, we're trained to think that it would cost an arm and a leg, but everything from ButcherBox is the highest quality at a fair price, and it's super convenient. Not only do they ship it to your house with free shipping, by the way, you can skip the grocery store. You can choose between four different curated plans, or what I do, I like to make a custom box, where I can choose from more than 25 high-quality cuts. And to add to that, my fiance has been working out a lot more and he loves ButcherBox as his source of high quality protein to get those gains. I mean, have you seen his muscles? Flex, flex, flex. Whoa. Oh, wow! Pretty massive. <laughs> And ButcherBox's whole motto is believe in better. So they support farmers who treat animals humanely, like their chickens are raised without cages, their cattle are free to roam on grassy pastures their entire lives. Right now, ButcherBox has a special offer just for you guys. If you guys click the link in my description and make sure to enter in your email because new members receive two pounds of wild caught salmon for free in every box for a year. Listen, I wish I was a new member all over again Word. so I could do this. Make sure to click the link in the description. Get that salmon! Thank you, ButcherBox, for sponsoring today's video. Let's make the pink pasta. We've got ButcherBox's delicious sea scallops right here. Oof. Wild cut, of course. And they're Oof. humanely raised. Look at this. Dang. Look at their, oh. So, like, how's your day? I'm pretty good. How's your day? I shot. I had a fun time today. He said, actually, let me tell you exactly what happened today. <laughs> today yeah. we're talking about stories where people forked up. I, I'm a sucker for these stories and I don't really know what it is. I just can't get enough of them. I think maybe, maybe subconsciously it helps me feel a little bit better about my life because these are some crazy fuck ups. These are probably some of the worst fuck ups that you'll ever hear in the history of this channel. So the first one, let's call her Chloe, right? Chloe's couch surfing. Listen, I'm hungry. Yeah, should we wait a sec? Yeah, okay. Why are we doing this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever played the laughing contest? Oh, the last oh, person to... Okay, ready? Let's do it. Okay, okay. Let me, be, let me think about something really, really sad. Like my love life. Kidding! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding! Damn. I love you! Okay, Ma. okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Did you already laugh? Did you already it's, it's, laugh? It's so hard. I always lose. <laughs> like when laugh? when I play this game, I always lose. You throw in. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's gonna take a while. We should put this in the shabu maker. That's got some fucking horsepower on that bitch. It's like a turbo V8 engine. It gets like your shabu shabu will be boiling in 0.2 seconds now. Dang, we need that thing. I know. I looked it up. It's like a hundred dollars. It's like a housewarming present. Okay, this that we're using right now, this burner, <laughs> I think it's like $8. $8? $8? All right, oh let's do God. it. Okay, do it. Okay. Oh. 
Not wow, even strong. Sizzling. Come on, honey, you gotta upgrade your stove, man. <laughs> you gotta upgrade up the stove. One eternity later. What is the biggest thing that you've ever forked up in life? Then I could list a few. Few. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw in the onions, and then we're gonna throw in. Wait for it to be two, hours, two minutes. Two hours for it to be translucent. Oh, probably my car accident. Oh yeah, that was recent. That's mm -hmm. a, that's a up, yeah. That's a good one. This is so fun. So I'm gonna be talking about some Reddit posts, but first I think I'm gonna get started on cutting the bacon. This is my favorite part. This is what Koreans do. We never actually use a chopping board and a knife to cut things. So I don't want anyone complaining that I'm touching the meat. So here we go. So I've got butcher box bacon right here. That looks so like a freaking high good. quality meat. Okay, and I'm just gonna start like this big, right? Okay, okay. Oh, I touched the mic. I'm like, I'm not gonna touch it with my hands. Rubbed raw bacon all over yes. my mic. Yo. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely sizzling a lot now. Oh. oh, you seem like an experienced... Bacon cutter, bro, yeah. I am. I love the smell of bacon. It's so weird. I really am bad at digesting pork unless it's bacon. Look at, do you smell that? So the scallops take like four minutes. Maybe I'll, right now. Yeah. 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 Oh. Scallop and bacon. Oh. oh. I've never tried it. this combo. It's the best. Remember the scallop in Mexico? Oh yeah. The scallop is not what I was expecting. All of it? Yeah. Damn. I love scallops. Honey? Now scallops A is pretty much, good. much, no? Okay, sorry. I love scallops. It's actually good for you. Is okay. it good? Mm -hmm. What do I do? Okay, so the next step mm -hmm. is throwing everything. That's milk. Milk! Woo! Woo! The tomato sauce. Tomato sauce, that's interesting. Sugar, salt, garlic, powder. Oof. Oof. Ah. Mm. Should we add some nuclear sauce? No! Uh, okay. But you okay. tasted it? Yes. Yes. Is it yummy? Okay, Yo. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna be adding in the noodles, babe. You wanna take it a take it away? Help me. Just Oh, it gets stuck on know, the outside know, and it's hot. Oh, yes. Hold on. We've got the pink pasta with scallops and bacon for butcher box. And then we also have three giant hash browns. And today, do you guys want the regular bubble tea or the matcha bubble tea? Oh, yeah. I want regular. Regular? regular? What's wrong with you guys? Okay, so yeah, me here's and then what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Look at this. I'm about to make you the most... No. Delicious. No, is that caramel? Yes. That's weird. Ta -da. I don't consent to this. Dropped. Okay. Where's the boba though? Yeah, where the hell is the boba? Oh, maybe it's stuck. Oh, I see boba. Can For I... all the girls out there, Dan Dan doesn't like boba. Can yeah, you believe yeah. this? Cancel him. I am gonna actually I'm... go in for the matcha because I have been eyeing this one since day one. Are you kidding me? How's the caramel? I can kind of taste it. Really? But not a lot? No. Nah, this is not boba. It tastes like <laughs> coffee. This is not boba. This is something else. Alright, let's try boba. It's been so long. Oh, and then for me, guys, you guys have some too, I'm sorry. Got okay. some watered down mm. ice in here. Got my straw. Wait, you put caramel with matcha? No, I didn't do it on the matcha one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not mm. bad at all. Oh. oh my god, I just got four boba. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, now is the time. I'm so sorry. Let me throw in the sauces. On this side, we've got a delicious yellow mustard. Can I put some on here? Oh my yes. god. I love mustard. Oh. Who puts mustard on hash brown? Brett, I'll oh. just do half. This one is my favorite spicy ketchup of all time. And then we're just gonna spicy ketchup it up. Oh no, oh no, I'm oh. digging in. Okay, hold on. I gotta go with scallop first. <sighs> oh, let me try oh this. my okay, god. Okay, are you seeing this giant, delicious? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, fire. Fire. You are fired. Oh, so good. Yo, eat the scallop mm. right now. Mm. Right now. The bacon is so good. Mm. Wow. Let me try the noodle now. Literally. Wow. 
Mm. It's unique. It's such a delicious bite. I think we got the recipe from Nino's home. Wow, so good. I, I can't like, get enough. I like Nino. Yo. You like Nino? Yeah. Nino be pulling through. He's a, he's a faceless uh, YouTuber, just like me. <laughs> just oh, really? like you. And he just cooks? He's a bear head. Bear. Wow. Mm. Y'all yeah. should be friends. I know. Nino, if you want to be friends with us, we love you. No. We have nothing to bring to the table. Okay. We'll bring the ingredients. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but I think, I think noodle is way better than scallop. Mmm. Wow. Mm. This is good. so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, that's so romantic! <laughs> yo, yo. Wow. Uh, yo. Oh, yo. Yo. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Bro. You gotta try this freaking hash brown. I tell you. Can I get a piece? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Wow, the crunch. The crunch. Oh, wow. The whole thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. It's so crispy. I love mustard. I think I like mustard more than yo, ketchup, this, honestly. This hash brown better than waffle. Waffle mm -hmm. house. Waffle house. No sick. cap. Mm. Ah, this is still my favorite, man. The noodles. Mm. Wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, let me get a scallopy bacon y bite. Bacon. Scallop. Balanced meal, you know? <laughs> Oh, it's good. Wow. I feel like the bacon carried. Use Yo, this. the bacon though? Bacon definitely carried. Bussin. It's bussin. The bacon. You guys are wow. so stoops. So stoops, I swear to God. <laughs> mm. So much chaos today. So much chaotic stories. I don't know how people live these through. I feel like I've done some embarrassing stuff, but my social anxiety, I don't know if I would ever survive any of this. This was posted two years ago by a Redditor by the name of Cheerful Chaos Pancake, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and this story is truly chaotic. Let's call her chaotic Chloe. Now, Chloe happened to be couch surfing at her sister's house. She's working at this lakeside bar, sleeping on the couch at her sister's place, just trying to make some money for her college degree. Everything is going well. She's a gracious guest. So she's essentially staying with her sister and her boyfriend on the couch. So she's trying to be very considerate. She would wake up early in the morning, give the couple some private time. She would go to the lake where she works and she would just, she would just jog. She's one of those. She'll run as she a track star. Now there's so much beauty at this lake. There's just, I mean, people go to the bottom of the lake. They go, they go diving in there. They try to look around down under. You know, they go scuba diving. They go running. It's just one of those massive places that people gravitate towards too. So there's a lot of action going on all the freaking time. So round and round the lake she goes, this one morning jog. And as she's running through the woods, she can clearly see into the lake. She sees a man. A full-on scuba diving man with scuba gear, scuba everything, dead. D-E-A-D. -E dead. In the lake. Floating. Freaking dead. His head is just bobbing around in the lake. My Eyes closed. She sees his face. Oh my god. Oh my god, this guy. was. This is immediately what she's thinking. This guy was out here scuba diving all the freaking alone in the wee hours. The wee, the crack ass of dawn, okay? That's how she said it. The crack ass of dawn when the sun hasn't even come up. It was dark, so of course in the water he probably got the bends, he got dizzy, and now he's bobbing around. I mean, holy sh**, he's dead. So for some reason, she didn't yell at him. She didn't say, hello, are you okay? She just went into instinct mode. She took off her shoes, all of her clothes, just until she was in her undies, bra and undies, ran to the dock, launched herself full-on dive into the lake, just movie style, Black Widow, Marvel, Avenger style. But once Chloe got into the water, yet this not so much a movie no more, okay, it was it was given less Marvel and more fish market flopping. Like she was flopping around. She, she doesn't know how to swim? She knows how no. to swim, but it's just so cold and it's so deep and you can't see anything under. Okay. And it's she's wearing her contacts and it's like, I don't know, it's just bugging her. So she's swimming towards this guy aggressively, not even smoothly. So imagine like this, I'm gonna save you. Meanwhile, you're flat, flat, flapping <laughs> frantically to the guy. Her feet are all forked up because she, you know, stepped on some sharp rocks. It was painful. The lake felt bottomless. It was just so deep. She was getting freaked out. She swam over to the dead guy. And when she gets there, she opens up her eyes and looking straight at her 
is him. And he's blinking. And she's like, wow, this guy's not dead. Then what the fork are you? Are you okay? And he just looked so confused. He removed his mouthpiece and said, yeah, I'm okay. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you needed saving. So she starts trying to swim back to the shore because, I mean, what kind of conversation is she going to have? Mm-hmm. And as she's swimming back, more heads start bobbing out of the <laughs> water, right? The heck? Head, head, just imagine, little hand, like, <laughs> bobbing out the water. She's getting confused. She's about to panic. And in the moment where one of the heads popped up right next to her, she screamed directly into this guy's face, just, ah! She didn't even realize. She didn't know what the hell was going on. So one of the guys, the ones that she was about to save, decided to escort her back to shore. And uh, as she's kind of swim crying, panic, frantically crying, she doesn't know what to do. She just kind of wants to laugh. She, this whole situation is so comical. It sounds fake. It sounds like something that wouldn't happen. So she's like giggling. All the guys are laughing their ass off. More heads are bobbing out of the water saying, What's wait, happened? what just happened? Right? What the fork is that? Oh my God. And they're all giggling. She makes it back to shore. And now all of these bobbing heads, and most of them were dudes, are just staring at her as she has to get out of the water in her bra and undies and run back to her clothes with as much dignity as you can possibly do right so the guy that she saved told her that they are actually in military training for the summer so these are all military cadets they do open water exercises he was pretending to be dead so people could save him that's part of the exercise i guess it worked because she's trying to save him (laughs) but like the other people are supposed to save him like the military cadets dude the dude literally you try to play dead a military dude is playing dead wow how do you not fall but how did the people Mm -hmm. underneath not save him they're waiting probably it's like Uh, probably like one of those drills they're probably waiting for their turn To pretend to be dead. Yes. <laughs> well, he did a pretty good job. I thought they were having like a like a gathering <laughs> underwater. <Yeah>. Underwater <laughs> squat. Yeah, I'm not squat, gonna lie. Squat, squat. So she's embarrassed. So she walks as confidently as she can. Turns out the military cadets, some of the fittest dudes, some of the most well-equipped divers. <laughs> They're laughing at her. They're giggling at the situation, not laughing at her. You know, they're thankful. But at the same time, imagine being a diver. Imagine being a military man, a fucking diver. You are literally fending for this entire country. You're diving into the water like a freaking dolphin, so gracious. And here comes Chloe, flapping about, I'm going to save you. (laughs) So they're just laughing at the situation. But here's what's actually a cute little ending. She asked the guy out on a date. And they went on a date. The guy that's... She tried to save? No yes. Way. Are they and married she or said what? that he's super cool in person and everyone on Reddit was demanding a love story and she said that I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't want to get like too into my head. I feel like this is just adding more pressure into the dates, but it's, so far it's going well. That's what she said. Wait, she's the one who initiated? <laughs> yes, she was like, "Let's go grab a coffee or something." And they all went. Like all the guys showed up. What? And then I think she's going on dates with that guy now. Is that not That's so cute? That's crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm a pl- so if I play dead like and then uh, <laughs> all the cops come. <laughs> and then you're like, officer, you want to go on a date with me? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that was my game plan, actually. I'm going to slap you with a misdemeanor. Maybe a felony, right? Yo. So this one, I wanted to start it with cute. Because the other stories today, they don't have happy endings. No, they mm. don't. I mean, this is like one of those innocent, romantic, like very cute stuff. But um, the next couple ones, no. This was a wild Reddit post from two years ago by Anders High. We're gonna call him Andy for this video. Andy was sitting in his bed one day, just bored out of his mind. He's like, do I read a book? I'm so bored. No, I'm not gonna read a book. Do I go out? Nah, I'm not gonna go out. I'm gonna watch some popcorn videos. See what's popping on the internet. See what the corn on the cob is up to. See the elote, see the corn salsa. You get the vibes, right? Now, when he's online, he keeps getting these ads for Popcorn Hub Live. And he's, <laughs> he's feeling adventurous. He had never been there. Have you been there before? Why are you frowning like that? No, it just sounds weird. Says the live streamer. <laughs> <laughs> he said, have you guys been on? Because I definitely don't live stream on there. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn live, like, same as OnlyFans? No, it's live. It's live. It's like Twitch, but popcorn. No way. Mm-hmm. He's They're, like, there's such thing, guys. It's a much better career path than than Twitch, bro. I think I'll stick to Twitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. Meanwhile. <coughs> so, anyways, mm-hmm. 
Andy sees this ad for a popcorn live. He's never done it before. He's feeling adventurous. He's feeling a little different today. Why not judge it up? It also says free on there, so what a time to be alive. Let's try it. He opens up Popcorn Live, and immediately he sees all these hot girls, and he's like, wow, <laughs> look at my happy surprise. He sees a little chat box on the side, and he's thinking, so I can talk to these girls? <laughs> oh, even better. So in order to chat with them, before he can even send a message to any of these hot girls online, he has to make an account. Of course he does. So he enters in his little email, he makes a password, he even creates a fake username. So remember, his name is Andy, but obviously he doesn't want to use his real name, so he just writes a random one. Jacob69420. <laughs> it's a very inspirational username, right? So he enters it. Next page pops up. Please enter your credit card. Of course, right? But his bonbon and his logical thinking skills, I mean, it did say 100% free, so so like maybe they just want it in case I want to do something more. I mean, that's more than just a live, but obviously I'm not. Anyway, it's too late. He's too far into this now. He's already entered in his email address. He's too invested. He can't turn back. He's got to enter it in. So he gives all his credit card information, billing address, all of that. And then boom, he's in. Literally. He starts watching a few videos. Now, these were none of the hot girls that he saw advertised before he put in his credit card. They were actually, he said, uh, quite mediocre. Well, so are you, Andy, but let's not go there. <laughs> so they're quite mediocre, and um, you can only watch one girl at a time. So essentially, you have these two buttons on the right, and one would say, oh, like, next live, right? So then it would generate a new live, or it would say private live with this girl that you're watching right next to each other. So you either go to the next one, or you get a private one. So he's clicking the next button, and he He's just, I mean, he said it was like a little booty shaking, not even like a full on frontal shimmy. It just was underwhelming to say the least. So he finds the best one that he can and he tries to open up a bajillion tabs. He thought if he opened up multiple tabs, he could watch multiple lives and you know, scratch that itch that he's got going on. But it just wasn't happening. You can only watch one live at a time. That's so annoying. So he keeps clicking these new lives and somehow he freaking ends up on one of an 80 year old, a 60 year old grandma sitting there. And there's like eight people in the chat watching the whole thing. And he's about to exit when he accidentally clicks the button right next to it, private chat. So now, now he's in this private chat for $5 with a 60 year old woman. So just them two alone. Just them two. Aww. So he's like, no, <laughs> like he's so sad. He's losing $5. Like why couldn't he have spent it on the last girl or like somebody else? That's what he's thinking. Someone that wasn't in their 60s. Oh, this sucks. But uh, being the absolute foul king that he is, he stayed. Now listen, if that were me, I would have stayed too. Because if I exit, then I'm gonna be hurting this poor soul. She's gonna be thinking, wow, like mm. they accidentally clicked that button. I don't, I don't know if that's what he's thinking about. <laughs> no, that's not what he's thinking about. That's okay. why I would, I would not exit. Yeah. But he said, I mean, I already paid the five dollars and I'm not gonna get it back, so I might as well, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I would definitely exit. Mm. Now you're what? <laughs> Is it worth five bucks? <laughs> you know? Bro. Bro. <laughs> uh. Would you exit? Me? Mm -hmm. If I spent five dollars? Mm -hmm. Of course you would. Of course I would stay. Oh! <laughs> yes, go! <laughs> Alright, anyways. So you would stay? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Very poor choice of word. <laughs> Just responsible with my money, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want to die? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. It's not even funny. Oh, I'm sorry. So that is why he wouldn't spend $5 to see this woman, right? But Jacob spent it. I mean, Andy spent it. So he's on there, and being the absolute foul king that he is, he's not going to leave. He's going to get his money's worth. And I don't know why he did, but he stays, and she starts going at it. Like, full on, full frontal. Like, you can see everything on camera, and because his username is Jacob69420, <laughs> she's, um... Screaming his name, like screaming Jacob. And for some reason, he whips it out and he starts cranking his radio. She's cranking her radio and, you know, it's a melody, a strange one, but it, it's a melody at that. The chorus comes and dun dun dun, 
Fiend. <laughs> okay, he finishes. He's done. And instantly, I mean, the whole ordeal took about 14 minutes, by the way. Anyways, he's done. He gets a he gets a, a bit a bit of a weird feeling. He's like, that was cheeky, eh? Uh, I should log off now. So he exits the chat and goes back to watching YouTube videos. And later that night, he hops onto his email and he sees a freaking receipt from cornonthecob.com. Corn on the Cob Productions. It did not cost him $5 for that. $5 for that. No. It cost him $5 a minute. $5 a minute. 15 minutes? So he just spent $72 on a 60-year-old woman calling him Jacob. Yo. Damn. Bro. Not worse. Could and be the, a lot worse, though. <laughs> like, how, like 30 minutes? <laughs> have you ever oh been God. scammed like that when you thought something was cheaper but it was actually a lot more expensive yeah, what so I, I downloaded hinge mm-hmm. like when i like before mm-hmm. and before he say before, before what <laughs> huh why why aren't you on there now i mean i don't really uh-huh <laughs> wait okay okay wait, wait, wait hold on hold on you had hinge before what <laughs> But yeah, before what? Before what? Before... Before what? Uh-huh. Before what? Tinder. No, I meant to say after Tinder, but Tinder was like... <laughs> no, but Tinder is so weird, like... It's too much, but anyways... Alright, smooth king here. But anyways... <laughs> so, are you talking to someone? Nah. <laughs> I thought it was free, right? Mm-hmm. But then it's not. You gotta mm-hmm. pay like 50 every three months. So I, I was like, and, and hey, so, I did not know that. Yeah, you do. And then so I checked wow. my bill like that third month mm-hmm. and it, co- it came from Apple. Like, you know, our mm-hmm. Apple account. Mm-hmm. And I was like, uh-huh. wait, I pay Apple Music only. Like, why is there this uh-huh. much? You uh-huh. know? And I realized it was from there and I was you got like, got No! Did you even get a date out of it? Nah. It yeah. seems like you got a girlfriend out of it. Who? I'm mm-hmm. just saying. I'm just saying. You have a lot of explaining to do if she is watching this video. There's you no gotta go girlfriend. home, baby. It's just because I haven't told them yet. I gotta <laughs> tell them. baby. No, but don't hang up on me. Do you believe in love, love in first sight? Maybe. Why did you just <laughs> clear your not? <nostrils? laughs> So anyways, the comments of this Reddit thread were exactly what you would expect. Some people were outraged at Corn Hubert's insane price gouging. Some people pointed out that this entire story felt like a way to brag about how long it took him. They called him (laughs) Mr. I lasted $72. Showing off over here. Interesting. I'm trying to get their reactions to see. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, some people said that he did a good job of, you know, supporting the seniors. What an admirable guy. And future girlfriends are going to wonder why your kink is being called Jacob now. So, of course, there were legitimate recommendations of, you know, people asking why didn't he use these sites instead. But that, that one, I don't know why. It just, it just clung to my soul. This one, though. I read this like months ago and I couldn't get it out of my head. I actually wanted to talk about it in a vlog and I'm pretty sure that this is going to get me demonetized on YouTube. It's insane. So this was posted by a throwaway account and honestly, it's exponentially worse than the first story or the second story. And apparently this happened to a guy, let's call him Sean. This happened a few years ago. So he's living in Northern Mozambique at the time and his mom was going through like this weird phase. She was obsessed with anything and everything healthy. Like she did not allow any processed foods in the house, only bought foods that she approved of on a specific list that she said, okay, this is like what we're gonna be eating. And during this time, She's going through a coconut face. You guys have any idea where this is going? Coconut no. face. What so he's go- she's going through a coconut face. She would buy several coconuts a week from the local market. Anyway, Sean was horny. He f***ed <laughs> a coconut? Okay, these two things are going to be related. What? I know they what sound the separate, hell? but hold on. So Sean is learning about himself and his body. He's ex- Blurring himself quite a bit. Ew. Like whenever he got stressed, like during finals, he would spend a lot more time exploring his womblands, his wonderlands. Anyway, one day he's feeling like it just wasn't hitting the spot. I tell you, you know, it's just not. It's not happening. It's not clicking. There's no magic. There's no sparks flying. And he hears that his mom is gonna be out for the whole day, and maybe he's been secretly waiting for this moment the entire time. I don't know. So the guy decides, "This is my chance." I have to fork the coconut. (laughs) Now, he can't fathom why he thought that this was a good idea, but at the time, in the mindset that he was in, 
it just, I mean, it was an enlightening moment. He grabs the coconut. He spends like a good 20 minutes drilling the perfect sized hole into it because it has to be super perfect. He's super focused. Then once he gets, you know, the opening, you know, just right, he grabs the slipperiest thing that he could find in the house, which was like this non-pasteurized butter. This like super healthy organic butter. He threw a big slab of, you know, butter into the coconut. Bada bing, bada boom. He said it felt great. He said it was like the best thing ever. So he finishes his business in the coconut and then he shoves the coconut under the bed and he continues to go about his day. Now, you're probably thinking like, why did he shove it under his bed? It's because, you know, he can't go through like five coconuts a day. His mom is gonna be like, why are you eating so many coconuts? Why are you eating all the coconuts? Stop eating the coconuts. That's too many coconuts for you. Wait, so he used multiple coconuts? No, just one. Because he can't use multiple because his, you know, his mom's gonna be like, why are you using so many freaking coconuts? Why are you eating so many coconuts? So he goes about his day and he feels like this is the best thing that he's ever found. The next whole week, he just would keep it under his bed whenever he feels the itch he would grab the coconut throw in new butter so inside of the coconut was a sludge Um, okay sorry and he said there was a gradual accumulation of butter and other things that just was heaven it was like a fine wine that got better with time get out of here (laughs) and about a week of being in I don't know vida coco heaven he uh, starts noticing some changes in his room so he noticed this really unpleasant smell And, I mean, it makes sense, right? The butter. And then he also noticed some more flies in his house. Which, by the way, the weather was really humid and hot that summer. And there was just a lot of flies already in the area. The family called in a bunch of exterminators. And they were finding super bloated flies just dead all over the house. But, I mean, all the locals were experiencing this. So, there was not much that they could do. Regardless, Sean decides to be proactive. He's like, you know what? I am a clean freak. I don't like these flies. I don't want to give them a reason to be in my room specifically. So I need to get rid of this coconut under my bed. But not before. One last time. Ew. Worst mistake of his life. He picked it up. And the minute the two made full contact, he pulled it out. And his best friend was covered in rotted, molded butter and hundreds of tiny maggots. Ah! Literally? Just... His friend? Bro. He stick his wee-wee in there and pull it out and it's covered in hundreds of maggots. <laughs> Yo, that's Bro. disgusting. They were literally moving around and they were trying to even penetrate into Bro. his urethra. Bro, Bro. Ah. Bro. But, but the fact that he did that, like how horny do you have to be? Like that's Have so... you watched Too Hot to Handle? Yeah. <laughs> Too what? Too hot to handle. Also, wow. Dan Dan's like, so where do you guys buy coconuts? I'm just wondering. <laughs> I just, I need to start buying Whole Foods before I go home That's today. He started screaming, and in that moment of panic, he made another grave mistake. He threw the coconut. He threw it at the wall, and it busted open, exploding oh. everything inside of it out there i'm talking the maggots the coconut the butter everything else just everywhere (sighs) ew i have goosebumps right now for real (laughs) and he had to scrub his entire body for hours he said he threw up non-stop he had to clean his room for hours and the whole time he just had to reflect on what his life has become how he had even gotten to this point why did he do this so he ends. had he did not understand what's no. going like what's happening inside of the He coconut. was a teenager. And I guess listen, that's crazy to me because let's say I am putting on a pair of boots. I always flip it upside down and I shake it because uh one time I someone put a lizard in my shoe. Lizard? Yeah. It was actually a lot less happy than that. Oh. <laughs> I flip it around and I shake it. <laughs> So if there's like a cockroach that went in there, it'll come out. And if it's like too, like, you know how Uggs, you can't really shake it because there's so much fur. I'll like, I'll stick a flashlight in there. I'll be peering if it's been a while since I wore them. I will not just even stick my foot into an unknown dark space. But this guy, this guy is doing the most. He's living life on the edge. Why? Vida Coco. You know, Uh, like he's just really doing the most. He also did an AMA where people were asking pressing questions about the relationship with the coconut and he said that the suction was chef's kisses. And he said (laughs) that the idea that it was a fruit was great and the coconut hair was a nice touch. The coconut coconut hair. hair? Mm -hmm. (laughs) So this happened three years ago to a Redditor 
and his name is not so big after all. <laughs> yeah, I love Reddit, dude. Like, okay. So interesting. And it's so pertinent to the story, and it's really sad. It'll all click in a second, trust me. Anyway, let's call this guy not so big Ben. Ben had been with his girlfriend for about a year now, and he was certain without a shadow of doubt this is the one for him. Like, he loves this woman. They're going to get married. I mean, oh, soulmates. Can you even believe it? She's perfect. Perfection. Mm -hmm. In fact, every life, every part of their life was perfect, even their, you know, a sex life was perfection. He, she was always complimenting him. You know, you know the, you know the vibes. And uh, they're about to move in with each other. And all he wanted to do was marry her, spend the rest of his life with her, build a freaking family with her. Anyway, last week, they go on vacation, and I guess she had to use the restroom. And he was looking through her the pictures that they had just taken on her phone together. And as he's scrolling. You know when you scroll too fast and it just zooms out your iPhone mm -hmm. and you see like a giant, just like a massive like data pile essentially of all your pictures and they look like tiny little thumbnails. So you get an overview, let's say if you're looking for a specific picture. Yeah. So he sees one from over a year and a half ago. So this is like when they weren't dating. So this is not like, oh my God, I caught my girlfriend cheating. No, it's not, right? How long have they been dating? A year. Okay. So this is like, she wasn't cheating. And he clicks on the picture because it caught his eye. <laughs> And it might as well have jumped out of the screen and slapped him in the face because it was a picture of his girlfriend and the biggest boob straw that he had ever seen in his entire life. He yeah. said it was like two Coke cans stacked on top of one the, another, <laughs> but fatter. And then, oh yeah, <laughs> but fatter and <laughs> bigger. <Stop it. laughs> but this is the worst part. She is in the picture, looking at it, with just eyes of amazement, and like, <laughs> and like shock, and fun, and just full of joy, and she's just like, there's more pictures too. So he swipes again, and she's comparing it to her arm, and she's like, like she looks like she's having the best time of her life in these pictures. And Ben immediately shuts down, turns off her phone, and he sat there in awe because he couldn't stop thinking about it. Because she would always say nice things to him when, you know, when the time came. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the username, not so big after all. Oh, I... And he always thought that he was an above average person, and he thought that, you know, she was lucky. She was lucky in bed or whatever. He thought that. Mm. But now, this ruined his self-esteem. And on top of that, this guy that was in the picture, it wasn't even like a one-night stand. It was her ex-boyfriend of three freaking years before she met him. Yikes. So now, he's asking Reddit, you know, he loves her. He just doesn't know how to get these images out of his head. <laughs> he doesn't know how to pretend to be normal anymore. What do you think? Dan Dan, advice for the, for the gentleman? Yeah, what would you do if that was you, Dan Dan? If that was you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, so basically he's insecure because of the size, right? Yeah. Listen, <laughs> okay. for the guys out there, I don't, you know, mm -hmm. if you're watching this, mm -hmm. it's not about the size, mm -hmm. it's about the motion. It's not about the size, it's about surprise. <laughs> exactly. And, and motion, right? Motion, he said. Bro, it's about the surprise. It doesn't matter if it's super big. It's about the shock. <laughs> it's about. Oh, I. Wow. <laughs> Dinda, do you have something else to confess to people? <laughs> like what? Okay. okay. <laughs> you know what? I've decided 2022, I'm so sick of making guys feel better about themselves because you know what? Do you think I sit there and say, it's not about the size of her butt? No, they don't say that. So you know what? It is about the size, guys. No, it's it really not is. about the size of the Sucks butt. Sucks to suck. No. <laughs> it's about the heart. Oh yeah? <laughs> oh yeah, you think guys are out there like, guys, it's not about the size of her butt, it's about the motion of the ocean. And then you try dancing for two seconds on TikTok and everyone's like, what is she trying to shake anyway? Yo, that's so mean. There's nothing to shake. That's messed up. <laughs> well, Brad, it's not about the fucking motion, you weirdo. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> anyway, like a really aggressive is International Women's Day recently, so I have a little oh, leftover yeah. aggression. Okay. So a lot of Redditors were coming together to try to make um, Sean feel better. So one of them said, Dude, don't worry about it. I'm sure she didn't keep it for the memories. The file was probably just too big to delete. <laughs> <laughs> I love Reddit! I literally Yo, love Reddit! They're so funny. So good! Some people were just saying, it's probably a wide-angle lens, you know? 
Another <laughs> another redditor said, "You want to see mine? It's below average, so I'm sure it'll cheer you up." <laughs> and everyone in the comments on that one was like, "See, this is what we love: bros being bros, mm. bros coming together. So sweet." <laughs> okay. I like that. I like that. I like that. It's so good. Okay, this is the last one. I swear. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed this because I freaking love these stories and I'm obsessed with Reddit. That's like all I do in my free time. So Patrick, this this is all centered around a guy by the name of Patrick. Patrick is 25 years old and he had truly a non-exciting life until recently. You see, our man Patrick was on Tinder, just like our man Dan Dan. He was on Tinder. I don't use Tinder. Mm -hmm, sure. He's swiping right. Patrick's on Tinder and he suddenly got up out of his chair and he had seen the light. The profile that he was drooling over was that of a 44 year old woman and she was his goddamn dream. It has always been a lifelong dream of his to be with a MILF. Just trying to get some reactions around here. You know, they're really trying to poker face every little story right now as if y'all didn't think about coconuts like that ever. Really? Coconut? You've never thought about a coconut and was like, doing, should I? Doing a coconut? Should I? Bro. Should I just, oh, skirt? I slipped and hey. fell into but a coconut. now I can't get it out of my mind. <laughs> yeah, that is true. It's in my mind now. Yeah, I saw a lot of comments that were like, Ugh. coconut sales. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon. Anyways, Patrick's lifelong dream was to be with a MILF. So anyways, of course he swipes right, right? And a few days later, guess who's a match with him? Oh yeah, Stacy's mom, who's got it going on. <laughs> they start messaging each other, and uh, it's going really well. Then he gets a message out of nowhere from her, and she says, do you want to just meet, or do it, or do we go on a date first? I don't really know how this works. So he's, oh, 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 oh yeah. he's foaming at the mouth, okay? Patrick <laughs> is standing up, he's like, you know, people just meet up to go to the bone zone anyway, so we might as well just, we might as well just meet there. What's the point? You know, do you really want to go get dinner with me? I mean, do we really even have anything in common? Let's just go to bone town. So she responds, okay, good, because I hate formalities, and texts him her address for him to come over on Friday. And she said, don't forget to bring wine. Is that her house? Yeah. And he's like, holy shit, holy shit. He's so excited. He's showing, he's telling all of his coworkers, Tinder, I met this woman 40, oh, smoking hot. Woo! I mean, I don't want to show you the picture because listen, you're going to go on Tinder and you're going to try to find a, no, don't be looking for her, okay? Smoking hot. I'm meeting her on Friday. I'm so excited. I literally can't even think about the rest of the day. I can't even think about the rest of the work week. Like, he's telling his coworker this nonstop who's just sitting next to him, like, okay, I feel like this is an HR violation, right? <laughs> so finally, Friday comes around and wow, he shows up the house. She's even hotter in person. So much better in person. He is not disappointed. In fact, he is so happy he's over the freaking moon. Anyway, they briefly do some small chit chat. Very small. Like, hi, hey. And they uh, get into it. The main course, like he said like rabbits, like wild animals, like rabbits on the living room floor, very aggressive. And afterwards he just felt like the king of the universe. He wanted to pump his little chest up. She was happy. She kept telling him like, oh my God, you make me feel so young, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, they start meeting up multiple times a week to do it for the next three months. And each time it just gets progressively wilder and wilder and wilder, right? Just crazier. I'm talking candle wax in the butthole. Doesn't doesn't that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> like, does it feel good or something? Like, yeah. Does it? I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> right. So, anyways, you know, he would go to work and he's like, guys, you'll never. Literally, I don't know how he's not written up by HR yet. He's like, guys, guess what? I'm talking candle wax in the butthole. Anyways, fast forward to that fateful day. He gets a text message from Melissa the MILF and she's like, okay, well, can we actually reschedule to 3 p.m.? I have to go, you know, get um, like lunch with my son first and do all these things and I gotta run errands and I'll be back. Okay, sounds good. I'll meet you at your house at 3. So he gets there a little bit early and he sees that she's not home. Her car's not in the driveway. So he waits and he waits and she texts him, hey, I'm gonna be a little bit late. Like, just, just wait outside for me. Okay, that's fine. Like, I'm on the car. He's listening to the radio and while he's waiting, he sees a very, very familiar car, too familiar of a car, pull into the driveway, into Melissa's driveway, and immediately, he realized where he knew that car from. <laughs> what? His coworker. His coworker. His 23-year-old coworker. That he's been telling every day that I met this girl. On <laughs> <laughs> the driver's side, goes and gets his mom out, helps her out gets the groceries, gives her a kiss on the cheek, and reverses 
out of the driveway. He didn't see him? Reverses out. Patrick's jaw is like this. And he's just staring like a deer in headlights. Which, by the way, the coworker stops in front of Patrick's car as he's reversing out. And is like, oh, Patrick? What, what are you doing here? He rolls down his window. Hey! I'm here because I got lost. <laughs> I'm, my cousin lives near here because she's giving me all the wrong directions and see you at work. Patrick, Patrick's coworker looks at him. Okay, see you at work. And he drives off. No way. Not so only weird. do they not work together, but they were super close. Like Patrick even helped tr train him when he joined the company. Patrick had been telling him every single thing that he did with Melissa, like everything, the candle wax and everything. And this kid, this 23 year old son kept saying, bro, I'm so jealous. That's my fucking dream, bro. That's been my dream. Like, can you ask her if she's got any friends? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Yo. So, not having any idea that Patrick was talking about his own mother. So, Patrick rushes into the house, tells Melissa everything. Needless to say, they didn't do it that day. They just sat there in silence, in shock. Patrick had to call in sick the next day because he could not look the guy in the eye. And he keeps getting calls from Melissa. And she's like, I need to tell my son everything. Like, I just feel a lot of guilt. I feel burden. And I just feel like it's really impacting my relationship with my son. And this guy's like, are you, are you kidding? Like, it's not like we hurt his feelings. Why would you need to? And he's like, I don't think, I... Melissa, did you hear me correctly when I told you at your house that I told your son about the candle wax? Did you not hear me? <laughs> and she responded with, well, he's a grown up. My son is going to realize that his mother is a person too with desires like any other person. Huh? She said that she couldn't live with the guilt and the deceit. So she ended up telling him and Patrick didn't have to quit his job. In fact, the coworker was super nice. He called and said, hey bro, I'm not mad. I'm just a little bit shocked. And obviously it's kind of a mind fuck. And I just want you to know that I'm quitting my job. I already gave him the two weeks and I just think it'll be too weird for us to work together. And oh yeah, yeah, I just gotta go. Dang. I think I'll be mad. You will or How not could you really? be mad though? Why? How would you be mad? Yeah. Why would you be mad? It's not your friend though. They don't know it's your mom. No, but let's just say he knew. Yeah, but that's weird. Yeah. Like, like, he didn't know. Of course he didn't. Mm -hmm. A very unfortunate coincidence. That is true. That's so weird. So next time you see a MILF, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. remember, it could be your friend's mom. Exactly. That's true. How would you feel if this happened to you? And Reddit said that the only fair solution is if the coworker gets to f*** Patrick's mom now. Shut up. <laughs> and make his, make his dreams come here. true. <laughs> make his dreams come true. What would you do if you found out that your friend was forking your mom? Dude, I... I don't <laughs> even know, dude. I'll be so shocked, like... I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this? I mean... Whose life is worse? Who had it the worst? Definitely Coconut Boy, yeah. Definitely, no? definitely Coconut, definitely bro. Co <laughs> Yo, he said while he was like showering like next the next level. day, there was one. Ew! There was one, a maggot. No, you can people eat it. I'm sure it's a good source of protein. Oh yeah, that's oh, true. Oh, I'm sure. You know what else is a really good source of protein? Salmon, that's free for the entire year as long as you click the link in the description and find out how you can get free salmon for the year. Are you kidding me? And that's gonna be it for today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.